This work is titled Using Quality Diversity to Evolve Flying Machines in Minecraft and was done by Alejandro Medina, Mel Ritchie, and Mark Mueller. Multidimensional Archive of Phenotypic Elites or Map Elites is a quality diversity algorithm that collects a diverse archive of quality solutions to a problem. We applied Map Elites to Minecraft, a popular game for exploring creativity and world building. The specific problem this work focuses on is generating flying machines, which are structures that are able to move perpetually in one direction. An example of a flying machine can be seen in Figure 1. Map Elites is an, is an evolutionary algorithm that stores evolved objects in an archive. Various shapes were generated and categorized into specific bins of the archive. Each bin can only hold one shape, and previously stored shapes are replaced by more fit shapes in a given bin. The binning schemes themselves are how the archive is organized. We use three different ones, count, count negative space, and piston orientation. Count, or me.c, organize the archive by the number of blocks in the shape. Count negative space, or me.cn, is organized by the number of blocks versus the number of air blocks within the bounds of the shape. Finally, piston orientation, or me.po, organize the archive by the number of pistons facing in each orientation. The finish function used to evaluate the shapes was the accumulated change in the center of mass. This worked by periodically comparing the last and current center of mass. If the shape departed the valuation area because it had flown away, it received a special maximum fitness. However, in this case there would be a small penalty for any blocks that were left behind. The experiments were performed using two block sets. The original block set used in previous work that failed to successfully produce flying machines, and the observer block set which simply adds the, the observer block. We compared the quality diversity approach using the three binning schemes to an approach using fitness alone, and found that pure fitness was comparable to the count and count negative space binning schemes when using both block sets. Although pure fitness was comparable to these two binning schemes, the piston orientation binning scheme was statistically significantly more successful. The success rates were all compared using Fisher's exact tests, showing that piston orientation results in more runs that produce flying machines. These results can be seen in figure 2. Overall, we had more successful runs generating flying machines using the observer block set. These, blo these box and whisker plots show that when each of the 30 evolutionary runs per method produce its, flying, its first flying machine, and demonstrate that many runs of me.c, me.cn, and pf did not produce flying machines within the allotted number of iterations. However, many flying machines were produced relatively quickly by me.po runs. In conclusion, we were successfully able to generate flying machines with various approaches in multiple different directions. Out of our various approaches, the piston orientation binning scheme was the most successful.